Hey, what's up guys? It's me again. Uh, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some architecture uh, kind of setup for the RTX 3090. So I just got this little setup right here. Um, overall, he did a really good job. The model did a really good job optimizing the scene. I actually thought it was going to be a little bit harder for the GPU to run this scene here, but it is fairly small. And as you can see on the right side, I'm getting pretty good FPS. And it looks like the materials and the textures are pretty much optimized. You can change the color of that chair or that table, whatever, end table. Um, but yeah, let's let's slow it down a little bit. My um my mouse uh my mouse was too fast for it. Um but yeah, this looks great and all, but you know me, I'm gonna try and push this. Um, one of the f couple of things that I noticed is the reflection is obviously ray tracing is off. I mean, to be honest, this looks really good even with no ray, ray tracing on. Um, but what I'm going to try and see, see if I can crank this here and kind of make it, you know, a little bit heavier on the GPU because it's taking it quite well. If you look here, that looks pretty darn good. So, um... Let's go ahead and start messing around with ray tracing and let's see here. Let's see if it can change it. Sometimes they they lock these things as far as ray tracing goes because they don't want you to mess it up. But um, I'll tell you right now, we're here to mess this up. So let's go with like something 12 or something. GI is already on. That's the only thing on, to be honest. Right now, and let's do 12. And it's starting to take a hit on the FPS. So you can see it's at 28 now. 28, 29-ish. And yeah, it's starting to get there. It's starting to look really nice. Um, one of the things you're going to notice is take a look at this mirror right here. Take a look at... Whenever you change this to screen space, as reflections, and go to ray tracing, boom. Look at the difference. Ugh. That's just disgusting. Look at the difference of that. And then we'll turn on, you know, the min max there. Oh, hello. Oh my god. I got the bounces all the way up to 22. So there, I have it set at 12, 12, 24 sample per pixel. And look at the difference before, after ray tracing. Look at this. So, oh man, look at this one right here. It's really nice. Got that nice, it's, it's crazy because it's CG stuff looks so much realistic when you have soft shadows and that right there this guy he did such a good job with with this scene and lighting oh god i wish i was this talented this is this is crazy good um but yeah as you can see the rtx 3090 and we're not even max man that's 24 i'm gonna max it out here in a second just to kind of show you and to the translucency this right here, I don't really get good result with this. So if I go to ray tracing, see, yeah, it's kind of dark. Let's turn on. Let's just see what it looks like. So I don't, I don't really mess with translucency ray tracing because I don't know. I just, I just don't think it's ready. So I'll just keep that as raster and I'll turn everything off. Um, but yeah. That's it. I'm getting like 9 frames per second right now. Checking this place out. I mean, this is unreal. Just the way this looks. Getting a lot of shadows here. Just because of the less light. Um, but if you bump your bounce, that should make it better a little bit. Or actually your sample megapixels. At least in theory it should. But I think there's just no light in there at all. But if you go over here, look at that. That looks amazing. And then before we go, um, 
let me just see what I can um see if I can do a 64 or something oh I actually have max max roughness of one that's maxed out oh here you go that's about to drop 64 64 um, samples per pixel so yeah that 24 gig might seem like it's a lot for gaming but clearly for stuff like this you're probably better off getting a quadro 8000 you know what I mean cuz yeah this is that's insane but there's just kind of it's exciting to know that there's still room for improvement as far as graphics cards go I mean, consumer-wise, obviously. I mean, never before a person like me can get this performance coming out of a consumer gaming graphics card is what I'm trying to get at. Considering, I mean, the price point of this card is still insane. But yeah, uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm going to be testing, doing a lot of tests with this RTX 3090 while I still wait for uh, the rest of the stuff. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys later.